Hello, good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. Hello, Maritza. How was your day? Mm. Uh, I had a, a good day. You had a good day? Mm -hmm. But you didn't send or receive WhatsApp messages, right? Yes, I received you in received. the morning. But, uh, yes. uh, uh -huh. but I don't, didn't understand. And I asked you, but uh ya, ya no se fue ya no yeah but it couldn't be sent uh -huh. no se pudo enviar. okay uh -huh. yes uh we had like problems during the morning i uh -huh. guess it was since uh, 10 a.m or 9 30 creo que a partir de esa hora uh -huh. we have a lot of problems with, with uh not only with with whatsapp but also with facebook I guess and Instagram. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, that uh, we had like general problems with, with, with those uh, platforms. Okay, mm -hmm. so I didn't receive your your message. You sent it to Lembiaste, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, is no aparece. No, it, it doesn't no. appear. It's not. Uh -huh. It's not. It doesn't appear, yes. It doesn't yes. appear. Mm -hmm. Doesn't appear, okay. So, mm -hmm. well, uh, but uh, after, well, during during the, the afternoon, I send mm -hmm. like uh, the question in Spanish. So in, in case you have some difficulties to understand the question, so you can have like a clear idea about how to answer. Okay, Marisa? Yeah, um, I think, Yo pensé, no, I thought, I thought. Uh, uh, to, to refer a uh, the uh, terminal il, il, illness. Yes, illness. terminal illness. Uh -huh. No, yes. Uh -huh. Well, that's called euthanasia, la eutanasia. Uh -huh. That's called uh -huh. euthanasia. It's to kill him or herself, but uh, through medicine or quit... Um, like quitting the some machines maybe that are connected to you mm -hmm. cuando usted when you refuse usted mm -hmm. that rehusa utilizar refuse to have some medical treatment some machines that maybe help you uh, to keep you alive maybe to breathe right mm -hmm. or, or, or some other uh, like like yes medical machines but that's another that's another topic that we are going to talk about people who try to kill him or herself. La persona que intentan este eh, pues uh, suicidarse. That's it. When they, they are okay, they don't have another illness, no tienen otra enfermedad, but they decide maybe they are depressed, quizás están deprimidas, maybe they don't have clear objectives in life. Or maybe they don't have a reason to keep on living. So that's why. Okay, Maritza. So, mm -hmm. okay, we're going to listen to some of the opinions later. Okay, thanks, Maritza. And here we have okay, Carmen. Hello, lady in pink. Good evening. Good evening, Carmen. Uh, how was your work with no WhatsApp? Everything okay or did you have problems? I have Some. a problem. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, yeah. uh, we had to communicate, right? Yes. Okay. So do you have to, to call? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, hubieron problemas de, de, de llamadas también. Yes, uh, yes the, there were no signal, no había señal, even for calls. Ah, okay. No signal for no calls. Signal. For calls. Very yes. problems. <laughs> yes, problematic. I uh, imagine some people, well, there are a lot of works in which we receive uh, instructions by WhatsApp, right? Or we communicate. Yes, so, ahí se da cuenta uno la necesidad de yes. comunicarse. How, yes, how dependent we are. Que tan dependientes, right? So that's it. Okay, Karen. But everything okay at last. Ya de último? Eh, no, yeah. hasta que estaba ahí en casa. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Okay. So thanks, Carmen. 
And here we have Carito. Hello, Carito. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? With no messages from your friends or from your lover or from, I don't know, the com or I don't know. Do you have messages de nada, Carito? Then now uh, I am happy today. <laughs> <laughs> you were happy. Okay. Yes. That's it. A, a good no yes, a good uh excuse. No one excusa. Huh? Yes. Okay. Fine, Carito. Thanks. Here we have also Diana. Hello, Diana. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Mm, perfect. Perfect. No problems at work with uh, because of the WhatsApp. No. Perfect. No, you don't receive instructions daily. Daily instructions. Instructions diarias. Yes. Pero uh -huh. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, yeah, similar to Carito, but uh -huh. better not to receive. Okay. That's why you are very smiley. Mm. Okay. Fine. Well, I'm happy for you. Me alegra mucho. And. <laughs> Marlon, hello Marlon, how are you doing, man? Hello, uh, I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay, tell me, uh, problems uh, at of work? Of course, definitely. A lot or some? a lot? A lot, a lot. A lot. I, I need the WhatsApp to communicate with my clients. Definitely. That's, that's so important. I need some confirmations, uh, written confirmation. Mm -hmm. Written confirmation. I, I need. I need to send some documents. I need I, uh, WhatsApp is very important in my job. Very important, yes. I guess in, in, in every job, but there are some jobs in which you need like uh, confirmations, as you said, some documents, even for buying, algunas compras, purchasing, maybe uh, they send like uh, some bills, receipts, receivables, a lot of things, right? Of course, and 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 not it's not the same if the you receive a confirmation by a phone call because it, it, it you don't have a como se dice you don't have no no tienes la prueba the proof la yes uh, the yes proof. the proof mm -hmm. and with the WhatsApp you can you can save a screenshot screenshot and, yes and that's a uh, eso es útil yes useful mm -hmm. that's useful and. And the most important thing is to send memes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, uh, memes are so important. Yes, emojis. No, 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 pero de verdad, es bien importante. Y, y yo, por ejemplo, lo uso para confirmar. Para memes. Enviar documentos. Yeah. <laughs> enviar, enviar documentos. Yes. Entonces, realmente, yo, yo sí eh, siento que fue un inconveniente bastante... Eh, Bueno, fue un gran inconveniente, pues. Okay, yes, I, I guess uh, we had some problems. Some of you have more problems, more difficulties, and you have to stop the part of the advance, parte de, de, de lo que iban avanzando. We had some technical difficulties. Yes, that's the word. That's, a, yeah. that, that's another album, teacher. You, you, you have to look, look, look okay. for Okay, look for uh, what the band? Uh, Razer X. Racer, Racer X. Ah, Racer X. Uh, I don't know that band. Okay. Technical difficulty. I recommend okay. it to you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Well, I'm, I'm going to listen to it. Okay. Your recommendations are okay. always are, are, are good. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Marlo. And here we have also Manuel, the kid. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Kid. How Tell are you? Me. Well, I guess I'm tired. This Monday was so difficult for me, but here we are. What about you? It was good day. It's Monday well fast. Ah, really fast. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. There are some days that are so slow, tan lentos. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Manuel, are you going to use the, the, the beard again or no beard? Ya no hay barba or you're going to, to use it later? <laughs> ah, después, es que es por... Later. Cuando no me queda chance ya, ahí se va, ahí que crezca. Ah, la vieja confiable, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, that happens. Yeah. 
a veces sí hay que estarse shaving. Mm, yeah, it's tiring. Cansa. Yes. Yeah. Ya va tiempo. Imagínate, imagine the women eh, who, who, who use uh, makeup, los que utilizan maquillaje y todo eso. Las chicas, yeah. las mujeres. También hay hombres que utilizan. Uh, them. Depende de ellos. No. Them. That's okay. Depende de cada persona. But in case of girls, they use, uh, they, they, they apply base and there are some eye, 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 eyeliner, delineador, uh, lipstick, uh, I don't know. A lot of things. The question is, how much time do they take for, for the makeup? ¿Cuánto se llevan maquillándose? I'm going to ask that right now. Thanks, Manuel. Gracias por iluminarme. Soy iluminante. Thank you. Okay, let's, okay. let's ask to Andrea. Oh, hello, Andreita, the chicken girl. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ajá, está de pollito hoy. Okay. Sí. Andrea, how much time do you take to make up? Mm. Para repellarse. Only One 30 hour. minutes. 30 minutes. No. Yes, casi no. Minutes. Casi no me maquillo. That's va. Belleza natural. It's okay. That's good. Well, it's up. It's up. Uh, it depends. Depends on the person. That's it. Okay, so here we have also Susie. Hello, Susie. Thank you, Andrea, for your 30 minutes, 35. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you doing? I'm headache. A little you have, headache. You, you have headache. Is that hangover? It's, it was a difficult day. Very difficult. A difficult day. Okay, but no yeah. hangover. ¿Qué es eso? No sé. Uh, eh, hangover <laughs> is when one day no drink a lot of beers tequila and the next day ah, no, 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 se apena es lunes no, teacher <laughs> la gitana, some people say I don't know what is la gitana, I don't know right, but some people say okay, no, tengo que ser responsable con mi clase, por eso no <laughs> ah, okay, okay eh, Susi, how much time do you take to, to make up? Maquillaje. Sincerely, oh. sincerely uh, only 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, so, sí, just uh, the, the las cejas y el delineado. Eyebrow. Uh, uh, y, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Rimmel in English. Mm -hmm. Rimmel. Rimmel. Hey, is that mm -hmm. Rimmel? Is that, that okay. that's the word? Me, eh, okay, so only. Solo eso. Y para de sufrir. Yep. Okay, y ya digo. Ahora que tenemos la mascarilla, mucho mejor, porque a mí me yes. encantaba el labial rojo. Me fascinaba, pero lo que pienso, de hecho, nunca he usado ni base, nada de eso. Pero ahora me siento que la vida es mucho mejor porque si me maquillara, me quedara en la mascarilla. Y, ah, yes, no sé. I think it's practical. Es más práctico. It's practical. Yes, right. Y sabe que yo lo que pienso de que uno cuando se acostumbra a maquillar todos los días demasiado, cuando no lo hace, se mira fatal. Entonces es mejor como que a lo natural. I don't siempre, know, men like Tal vez solo hay girls the way they are. No te no gustan las mujeres como son. Solo okay. en ocasiones especiales sí, exagero un poquito, pero de lo contrario no. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks, thanks. Carmen wants to say something. Okay, Carmen, tell us. Contanos, Carmencita. Yo sé que quieres decir algo. No, yo apoyo lo que dice Susi. With the man. Y yo igual. Mm. 10 minutos, si no es que menos, no soy tampoco de las que. 10 minutos. Se tarda eso, sí. Ok, very practical, right? Ok, that's good. Thanks. Maritza, what about you? Because uh, every woman has to, well, uh, uh, they take uh, a li at least a couple of minutes. Al menos un par de minutos se toman para eso. Right, Maritza? Mm, uh, Um, I only make maquillarse, ¿cómo se dice? Makeup or basic makeup, makeup básicamente. Uh, um, uh, para ocasiones, para uh, ocasiones. Uh, just for special occasions. Just for special occasions. Okay, occasion. yes. That's But it. every day, no. No, it is uh, not necessary. With the ma mask? Mm -hmm. Ah, you wear mask. It's not necessary. No, yeah, okay, that's it. Easy, right? Very practical. Creo que nos ha ayudado todo lo de la masquería. Yes, that's it. Okay, and Anita, what about you? Tell me. 
How many hours? No, tampoco. Uh, ten minutes or 15. Que no les creo, que no les creo. Ok, 10 minutes. Sí, se lo le había delineado a los y Cher, es que, es que una cosa es, vaya, me levanto temprano y me tardo una hora para bañarme, cambiarme, peinarme. ¡Una hora! ¡One hour! <ríe> Ajá, entonces el, el maquillaje como que es más, como menos tiempo. Hay que ahorrar, hay que, hay, hay que ahorrar agua. Come on, I one hour. Question, teacher. Ok, go ahead, Luis. I I am... am... <ríe> ok, eh. Yo no sé, vea, que voy a indagar, pero cuando a mí mi novia, mi ex novia me decía, en cinco minutos estoy lista, tres horas más tarde iba apareciendo, entonces esos diez minutos me suenan así. No, ten no, minutos. Like, like Einstein, como, como Einstein. Say, it's okay. relative, time is diez relative. Diez minutos, ajá, entonces, y después me decía, viste, solo cinco me tardé y yo. Solo mm. cinco. Okay. Oh, no. Anyway, ok. Y, y van a almorzar y después van a cenar. Ok. Yes, no. that, that usually happens. It's not every, every woman, ok. It's not, we're not talking about that, but there are some, there are some that they, they take a lot. Yes, a lot of time, ok. And Mercy, hello, Mercy. Even hello, in. how are you doing? Everything good? Hi. Ok, we missed you on Friday. Te extrañamos. Todos estaban llorando por vos. Ay, <laughs> en serio. Yes, believe it or not. Ok, Mercy, what about you? How much time do you take? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuánto tiempo te tardas? From uh, to the I makeup. Have only two minutes. Two minutes. Sí, es que sinceramente antes que no ocupábamos, bueno, teníamos la bendición de no ocupar mascarillas, sí, unos diez. 10 minutos, pero hoy con el uso de la mascarilla. Okay. Yes, I guess it is like more practical even for men. Incluso para los hombres, because uh, believe it, to shave it takes time. Es que right? se mancha Manuel, con el maquillaje. Time. Yes, in the case of, of the men, toma tiempo también shave, pues, entonces that's it. So uh, well, that happens. It's, it's up or It's up or depends on every person. So here we have Teacher, Edgar. Teacher, vamos yes. a hacer un reto con usted que se quite la barba algún día. Va a perder no, cuenta. no, no, no. That's, uh, that's not an option. Créanme que yo veo aquí, ¿verdad? Veo Luis, veo Edgar y todos que se quitan, incluso Marlon y uh, se ven normales. Yo, es como que todo se me hunde. No sé. Toda, como que esta, la, la barbilla se me hunde, no sé, no. Me veo fatal. No le recomiendo que me vean así. Voy a perder los puntos que he ganado con ustedes. Una foto. Mm, 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 maybe. I can show you a, a, a program. Le podemos hacer una foto cuando hice la primera comunión. Ok. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to start. Steps to write a formal email. It's a topic that I really like. Because you work with emails or even you work with WhatsApp. Um, If you work with emails, it is like more formal. It's más formal. I guess Carmen works with emails a lot. Marlon, Luis, uh, I guess Elsa. And some of, well, I, I guess most of you, la mayoría de ustedes. But if you, don't, uh, if you don't use emails, you use WhatsApp. It is another way to communicate in the written form. Es una forma escrita. And one of the advantages is that you can sound like more professional and you have evidence or proof, como decía Marlon. Pueden tener evidencia o prueba de algún proceso, ¿ok? De aceptación, solicitud, licitación, whatever. And uh, you can be more formal. Es más formal. Pueden, de, eh, como dice un meme, si todos nos tratáramos como nos tratamos, en la vida real, como nos tratamos en los correos electrónicos, Sería un mundo súper tranquilo, ¿verdad? Pero no, but that, it is not. So, it is another way to, to, to be more formal, okay? But uh, before we continue, here we have a question. How often do you send or receive emails? How often? I'm talking about during the week or during the month. You can talk about during the week or during the month, okay? So, let's ask to Manuel. What about you, Manuel? 
How often? And then Marlon. Um, Once a week, uh, twice a week. No. A month. Cada, cada semana, perdón. Every week, okay? Yeah, uh, for no from two to three. Okay, from two to three for emails. Weeks. Yeah. Ah, weeks, okay. Okay, that's fine. What about Marlon and then Carmen? How often? Um, usually, teacher. Oh, usually. Well, it is usually kind of and 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 la cholera. Okay. Usually, we have always. We always. have um, uh, always, usually, often, sometimes. No, no, no. And so, I always. Always. Okay. Yes. yes. Always. I always. The top. Mm -hmm. Yes. Como el 90, 100%, yes. I can I can listen. We Sorry. use uh, all the all the communication ways. Okay, that's it. I I, I receive emails uh, every day and I send emails every day too. Yes, and remember, it's not about one person. It's for for different projects, different people, right? So that that's why you receive a lot of emails, even. Okay, thanks. And Carmen, what about you? And then Maritza, how often? Always, teacher. Every day, many you work, emails. You work with that full, one hundred percent. Yes. Okay, that's one of the main means of communication. One of the main principal de communication para ti. In your case. Internamente y externamente. Internal and external, and that's it. Yes. Remember, we we use WhatsApp and we use phone calls, but. Uh, emails are like more formal okay good in my work emails more formal to yes. whatsapp yes it's more formal okay and as i said before you look like more professional more formal okay so that's it thanks uh carmen uh, maritza and andrea and um, i think more or less more or less five, five emails daily but that's daily five Emails daily, cinco correos al día. Mm -hmm. Well, that's always. Well, yes, because more or less is like mm, two or three days a week. Dos o tres veces mm. a la semana, o tres días. But yes, you work a days lot of... Days always. Yes, okay. okay. Okay, good. Andrea and Mercy. Uh, never. You never. We use, no, we use more... WhatsApp and WhatsApp. calls. Okay, that, that's uh, like the means of communication, el medio, ¿verdad? Para comunicarse, okay, that's good. Uh, Mercy and uh, Edgar. Uh, I don't send very often. Mm -hmm. No, I always receive emails. Oh, yes, okay. Recibo más correo. Yes, okay. that, that's a different point. Maybe you don't send, but you receive. And mm -hmm. I'm going to explain you how. Ya le voy a explicar por qué, but that's, that, that's true. Mercy, okay. Thank you. Edgar and Elsa. Uh, uh, I am very little or uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, advert, no sé cómo se dice anuncios. Advertise. Mm -hmm. Advertise. Advertise. Or, or puede decir ads. ads. De, ajá, de, de compañía, digamos, por ejemplo, okay. Spotify, YouTube, o cosas así. Yes, si yes. Recibe. You receive a lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You receive. Yes. I think you receive a, a lot of emails by uh, those companies, right, Edgar? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Good. Elsa and Danita. I, every day I check three emails, my personal, my the institutional, and the, um, the unit, unit? You, uh, unit. unit. Okay, but that's internal, uh, internal, that's internal uh, email, okay? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You use it a lot. Okay, Dianita, you don't use uh, email, right? Similar to Andrea. Uh, mm -hmm. Never, yeah, just by WhatsApp. Okay, good. Okay. Carito, uh, you too, right? Yes, I do not receive emails. Okay, a question for you, Carito, and even for Diana as well. How many, uh, you have one group, uh, one WhatsApp group for job? 
or you have more than one? Mm, yes, one. Just one. One. Eh, y tenemos eh, separado, no sé cómo se dice. Es que tienen uno donde sale, está el jefe y todo eso y otro donde están solo ustedes, me imagino. No, tenemos uno donde están todas las compañeras. Sí, dice Marla, sí, es que ya, se, ya, ya, es común. <ríe> y tenemos otra por grupos, por, eh, por grupos de supervisión se llama. Ok, mm, so that's it, ok, good. Thanks, eh, Carito. Susi, you too, right? Right, of my boss, never. But uh, maybe my finances, mm, yes. Cada 15 días, teacher? Or twice Every, in a month? Twice a month, yes, mm -hmm. ya ves. La respuesta ahí está. Twice a month, good. Uh, okay, good. We're going to start. Work. Thanks for answering me. In my case, as I was saying, como le estaba diciendo, I send email, but maybe once or twice a month, dos veces al mes. But I receive a lot of emails, okay, uh, re related to to Spotify account, Facebook, or there are some offers. Uh, th there are the different different types of, of emails that you can receive, but maybe you don't send. Se reciben, pero no envía, okay? So. Here we have useful verbs. Add, no, add significa agregar. Ustedes agregan algo. Ok, add. Update es actualizar. Actualizado se dice updated. Es un verbo, it's a regular verb. Updated, updated es actualizado. Por ejemplo, if, uh, for example, if a person is talking about new tools, new programs, or new products in your company, and you don't know, you can say, I'm sorry, I'm not updated about it. Puedes decir, lo siento, no estoy actualizado sobre eso. Okay? Uh, it can be a product, it can be some products, it can be uh, different processes, algunos procesos que se van a dar diferentes en su trabajo. You can say, I'm not updated, no estoy actualizado. Share. Share significa compartir, ¿ok? You can share um, on Facebook. You can share your food. Puedes compartir comida. You can share a lot of things. Pueden compartir muchas cosas, ¿ok? So that, that's a general verb. Download. Download. ¿Ok? Descargar. Y para decir subir. Upload. Okay. Download. Download is descargar. Upload is subir. You can upload to, to the drive. Si utilizan drive o algún documento de drive in your company. Maybe you have some documents for inventory. A veces para inventarios. Okay. So that happens. That you use like a common document in drive in the, in the cloud, en la nube. You pueden estarle actualizando. You can upload it. Okay. Pueden subir información. And search. Search significa buscar y también look for. Es igual buscar. Okay. Search es buscar. Look for es buscar. Find es encontrar. Es diferente. Ok. So that's it. Look for. Find. Here we have search. Share. Add. Update. Up. Up. No digan up. Ok. Up con AP, update. Y aquí, download, down, down. Como el síndrome down, ¿verdad? Porque muchos dicen down y es down. Download. Y aquí tenemos también upload, look for, find. Okay. I need your pronunciation. So choose one and then tell me. Carmen, you start and then Andrea. Download. Good. Andrea, Diana. Add. <laughs> Diana Marlon. Hey. Good. Marlon, Susi. Um, update. Good. Susi, Mercy. Search. Yes. Mercy, Edgar. Update. Mm -hmm. Good. Edgar, Manuel. Download. Good. Manuel, Carito. Update. Nice. Carito, Elsa. 
to download. Okay, Elsa, and here we have... To share. To share, yes, that's it. Creo que ya todos pasaron. Okay, so that's it. Uh, recuerden, update con T al final, update. Okay, so... Teacher. Uh, yes? I have the question. Yeah, please, go ahead. What does... ¿Cuál es la diferencia en wanted y search? Ah, uh, wanted. Ok, want es querer wanted. Eh, se utiliza más que todo para algo que es buscado. Eso se utiliza bastante en las películas del oeste. No sé si hay un cartel que decía wanted, ¿verdad? Que se busca, decía. Entonces, como buscado, requerido, ¿verdad? Por la justicia. Entonces, eso es. Pero want es querer, no es tanto para buscar. Se utiliza search o look for. Ese es para buscar, ya sea información, buscar personas, o whatever. Ok. So that's it. Manuel. Thank you. Anytime. Ok. A worksheet about uh, should or shouldn't. Ok. So read the sentences carefully and then fill in the gaps. Gaps son los vacíos. Puede decir gaps o blanks. Ok. Uh, giving advice. Giving advice es justa. No sé si ya tiene esa palabra. En los módulos anteriores se les he dado. Advice es dando consejo. Dando consejo o sugerencia. Cuando alguien le dice, give me advice, dame algún consejo. Give me advice about uh, finance, acerca de las finanzas. Ok, it can be. You can say, ah, you should save part of your salary every month. Deberías de guardar parte de tu salario cada mes. Ok, that's just an example. Ok, so we can say should or shouldn't. No digan should, no, should, should. Should or shouldn't, okay? So here we have uh, these sentences. We're going to start with Maritza and then Elsa. Okay. If Alice has Irish, she shouldn't go swimming today. Yes, uh, she shouldn't mm -hmm. go swimming today. Thank you. Okay, Elsa and then Carmen. What number? Uh, Two. Yeah. You child, child? Should. Okay. Should. Es, lo que, es lo que acabo de explicar. Ajá. Okay. okay. Eh, Go out. Should or, I'm sorry, Elsa. Solo explico esto. Um, sí. Shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. Esa es la pronunciación. Should, shouldn't. Should, shouldn't. Okay. So tell me, what's your opinion about number two? You should. Go out if you have have about cold. ¿Mm? Debería salir si tienes gripe. Gripe. No. Debería salir. No. Ajá. Entonces right. sería. Shouldn't. Yes, that's it. You shouldn't. <laughs> yes. Mira estos consejos de de Elsa. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Elsa. Okay, Carmen, and then we go with Andrea. Number three. Jill has a high fever. We should take her to the doctor. Yes. Good. Okay. Next, Andreita and then Diana. Number eight. Hmm? Jade has a broken leg. She shouldn't walk anywhere for weeks. Perfect. Diana Manuel. Number six. Hmm? Your son should... Eat. Should eat so much uh, fast food. He will put on a lot of weight. ¿Mm? ¿Tu hijo debería comer mucha comida rápida? Shouldn't. Ah, oh, yes. Good. Anita, yes. No, porque la comida, aunque a todos nos gusta. We all love fast food, right? But it is not healthy. Ya lo hablamos la vez pasada que no es saludable. Ok. Eh, Manuel, right? And then number, card. number four. Yeah. When you go to the beach, uh, you should always use sun cream. Sun cream, yes. Mm -hmm. Si no van a andar todos requemados con, con camarones. Thank you, Manuel. Edgar and Marlon. And number seven. Mm -hmm. Sería, we should, shouldn't visit grandmother 
until the coronavirus is under control. Yes, that's it. Good. Siempre que veo esta palabra coronavirus me recuerdo a esta cantante que se llama Cardi B. Que no la conozco, pero sabe famosa por un meme. Okay, thank you, Edgar. Okay, who's left? Susie, Q. And then Mercy. Creo que iba Marlon, no. Ah, Marlon, I'm sorry. And then Susie. Please, Marlon, pick one. Okay, okay. Uh, number 12. Yeah, yours. If you have a cake, you, you shouldn't carry that heavy bag to work. Yes, good. Carry, cargar. Okay. Good. Thanks. Of course, no. That's painful. Yo duele mucho. Susie and Mercy. 14. Go ahead. If you have a cold, you should, should blow your nose with a tissue, tissue teacher, mm -hmm. tissue, tissue. Mm -hmm. and throw it away. Mm -hmm. Con papelito. Sonarse la nariz, okay. So thanks, uh, Susie. Mercy. And then Carito. 16. Mm -hmm. Or daughter should go to school because she has chicken pot. Okay, good. And we go Carito and then Andrea. Even. Repeat. Carito, Andrea. Number, number 11. Okay. Paul has had two tests since today. he just today. 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 Since he just today. I think he should go to the distance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And we finish this round. Determinamos esta ronda. Andrea and then Maritza. Number 10. Dan has a terrible headache. He should take an aspirin and rest for a while. Good. Okay. Maritza and Diana. Um, number 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mark is always coughing. 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 Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. he shouldn't give up smoking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Mark is always coughing. Mm -hmm. Siempre está tosiendo. Coughing. Yes, he should. Él debería dejar de fumar. Give up, eh, darse por vencido o dejar. Okay. Thanks. Ah, Danita, estaba bien entusiasmada. Go ahead. Lo siento, no me di cuenta. No problem. Um, number nine. Mm -hmm. Bob, Bob fell off the... Ladder. 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 Ladder on his head. I think he should have an x ray taken. taken. Good. And the last one. No, no había dicho nadie. Okay, let's go with Manuel. 13. Ali sits. Ali sits too close the, to the TV. I think she. Should have have her eyes check. Eyes check. Yes. Eyes check. check. Conté al final. Good. Thank you. Si se pregunta qué es chicken pox, es varicela. That's chicken pox. And remember that we studied some of the symptoms. Ya habíamos estudiado algunos síntomas de los que hemos, hemos visto aquí, ¿verdad? Headache, uh, backache, broken leg, ¿verdad? Tú has coughing, que es cuando tose, cough, ¿ok? That's it. So, Good, ¿quién lo diría? Ok, uh, we continue with this. Should suicidal uh, patients have the right to die? Why? ¿Tendrían el derecho de morir las personas con tendencias suicidas o que han sido pues, propensas a, a, a suicidio? Suicidio. Ok, tendrían derecho a que de verdad muriesen. Let's listen to Marlon about it. Uh, I think um, they have the right, teacher. Okay, they have the right. I, I think they have the right. I don't know uh, how can we see that point, but 
the right to die, uh, everyone have it, mm -hmm. uh, I think. And so uh, oh, we, we, everyone will, will die someday. So then in that case, I think that uh, that people uh, need some, some psychological help and need uh, some support. But the right in, in in the sense of the of the of the word, the right everyone have it. Okay, I think. Okay, but maybe maybe the point is uh, to have uh, the support or the psychological help. Mm -hmm. I think. Teacher. Okay, that's it. Good point. Uh, me gustó que utilizaste in the sense of, en el sentido de, in the sense of the word, of course that it's if you have the right or not. Okay, so. Good point, and definitely uh, everybody needs. When utilizamos everyone or everybody, sería en tercera persona. No parece, pero sí se utiliza. So everybody needs uh, psychological attention, help. Okay, so definitely. And after that, if after completing a program, if that person wants to die, well, I, I think uh, it's a matter of decision. But of course. Okay. Good. Thanks, uh, Marlon. Okay, Carmen Sita, are you over there? Ooh. I think not. Ah, okay. uh, suicidal patient do not have the right to decide to die. Die. Uh -huh. die. To die. Uh, to die. I think that corresponds to God. They need psychological help. Okay, uh, uh, but we agree that people need that, well, especially that uh, mm -hmm. these kind of people need a psychological help. But Carmen said that the right to die only can be given by God. Okay, well, another good opinion. Thank you, Carmen. I'm going to check the attendance list and then we continue with Andrea. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hello if you are there. Eh, Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Hi. Hi, Carmen. I'm here. You're there. Claudia, not here. Carito. I'm here. Mm, okay. Uh, Maritza. Yes, sir. Good. Um, Christian. No, Christian. A veces no lo he visto y dice aquí estoy. Okay, Diana. Hello, Dianita. Present. Thanks. Um, Edgar. Hello. Hello there. Elsa. Present teacher. Good. Um, what about Helen? Not Helen. No Jonathan. Kevin. No Kevin. Uh, Luis. Que se me hizo Luis. Okay. Uh, Manuel. Here. There. Uh, Marlon. Hello. Hello. Present. Hello. Thank you. And Susie. Hi. Hello. Okay, uh, Andrea, your turn. Uh, in my opinion, no, because all people who attempt suicide has a problem. They need professional help and support from their family. Okay, uh, another uh, opinion mm -hmm. in agreement, in acuerdo, they need uh, psychological attention or support and family, family support, el apoyo de la familia, that's really important, family, friends, okay? So that's that's uh, another important point. Thank you, Andrea. But Andrea says no. Dice que no, Andrea. Está negando. Okay. Thanks. Manuel, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have two viewpoints. Two points. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Number one is a religious viewpoint is 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 no, but this is this is bad because we reject the gift of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's and, one point. That's a, a religious point. Okay, and the yeah. second one, and this the social social viewpoint is everyone can do of your life whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And without the match, the other no. Okay, yes, that's a good a good uh, 
detail. Every person can do whatever he or she wants without hurting, hurting. Oh, okay. another person. Puede another ser lo que quiera, siempre y cuando no lastime a otra. Okay. Yeah. But, como, di uh -huh. como okay. dijo Marlon, todos vamos a morir algún día. Al chimbolero. Yes, everyone <laughs> is going to be <laughs> in heaven, en el cielo. Yes, ah, right. tal vez. Con alitas, <laughs> con buffalo wings. Yes, I guess we're going to have. Yeah. Con solo que ves en los tamales y la caja pagada. Yes, well, even th that's another topic uh, about the ending of life, el final de la vida. Yes, there are some people that before they go, they pass away, they pay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and, and well, that that's another good. Uh, a good decision. Well, sí, que nos inviten a comer tamales. Ahí está, ahí está. <laughs> Van a estar llorando después. Okay, ah. we're, we're going to continue later. Ahí después cuando se muere la gente salen ahí los hijos regados y todo eso. Okay. Yes, that's happened for the heritance, la herencia. No le voy a pasar eso, teacher. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, eso sí. Jamás, never. No, eso no, no se puede. Okay. Ya eso que... dice uno hasta que... No, él lo digo yo y lo mantengo. <laughs> ok, good. Eh, we're going to continue antes de que me agarren ahí con todo. Ok, como que estamos en la procu. Good. Check um, eh, which tips, tips, consejos for writing a formal eh, emails or formal emails do you follow? ¿Cuáles ustedes eh, siguen? O cuáles consideran eh, que son importantes o que pueden aplicar. Remember, remember uh, that it can be applied for WhatsApp as well. Puede ser aplicado para WhatsApp también. Even 10 years ago or even six or seven years ago. No, 10, 10, 10 años. 10 years ago, WhatsApp was not, I don't know if WhatsApp existed. No, sabe, no sé si existía hace 10 años WhatsApp. I guess no. But... Uh, Emails were the base of com formal communication. Fueron la base de la comunicación formal. But now, even WhatsApp can be kind of formal. Un poco formales. No uh, full, ¿verdad? Pero sí un poco formales. Okay. So we start here. Uh, I need you to read uh, one by one. Uh, Maritza starts and then Marlo. Do not just read. Do not, do not use all capitals. Use capitals. Capitals significa... Capitals. Let's, Capitals, letra eh, letras mayúsculas. Yes, letras mayúsculas. Ok, uh, Marlon. And then, Carmen. Avoid using the subject important. Ok, good pronunciation. Carmen and Susie. Teacher dice que en el 2009 inició WhatsApp. Really? <laughs> 2009. Okay. But I don't know here in El Salvador, the, the year mm. that came, el año que vino, no sé, pero no, no sé si fue el domingo. Ok. <laughs> Todavía utilizamos Messenger Hotmail, mandábamos así. Y después el BB Messenger. Uh, no, nunca lo tuve. I'm sorry, el Carmen. Yahoo. <laughs> uh, I didn't have, ajá, Yahoo. Uh, Carmen, porque pues sí. <laughs> nah, a ver, voy a elegir una. Do not use <laughs> smileys. <laughs> Ok, ajá, ok. Eh, smileys is like emojis, right? Uh -huh. Están a mandar el, eh, le están escribiendo al jefe y mandan al monito así. Bueno, I, I don't know, maybe it, it may happen, puede pasar, but it is not uh, uh, recommendable, definitely. Ok, um, <laughs> ahí después les cuento algo. Ok, eh, Susi, and then Andrea. Cuente, como va, teacher? No, después. Later, okay. later, later. Use a formal salutation. Okay, you, uh, formal salutation, good. Uh, Andrea and Mercy. Do not use abbre abbreviations. Abbreviations, yes. Ya ves. Nunca habías practicado esa palabra y te salió abbreviations. Mercy. Creo que va a estar. Express. Clearly. Okay, express clearly when you are writing. ¿Cómo pronuncias esta palabra? We. Mm, we es nosotros. O oh, sí, en francés, we, monsieur. Pero en este caso. 
Ajá, madam. Why? Ah, ok. Why. Ok, why. Y aquí, be brief. Ser breve, ok. Qué tedioso estar leyendo correos que al final no dicen mucho. Cuando pueden ser concisos, right. Eh, o, o mensajes de WhatsApp extensos. Cuando pueden ser breves. Ok, that's it. Uh, even, uh, th there are some jokes, uh, hay algunos chistes que dicen, cuando estás en una reunión y te das cuenta que toda esta reunión pudo haberse evitado con un correo. So, that happens, that happens, ok. So, uh, tell me, Manuel, uh, which one do you consider is the most important? ¿Cuál consideras que es la más importante? And then Elsa. Express clearly with your everything. Uh, okay, writing. Yes, express clearly uh, why you are writing. Why? Yes, why? Yeah. Why? definitely. Why? There are, as I was saying before, there are a lot of people that uh, types, escribe types a lot. Um, the concrete information is brief, but they write a lot. Or people who send a voice note, three minutes voice notes, four minutes voice notes, and they speak and speak and they don't say the point. No dicen el punto y cuatro minutos escuchando. Así que uno le pone por dos para que se escuche como Alvin el Jardías. And, and, and that, that happens. Yes, right. Okay, who's next? And Elsa, right? And then Edgar. Use a formal salutation. Yes. Uh, use a formal salutation. Yes. It is important, okay? Uh, you're not going to text uh, to the customers with uh, informal words. ¿Verdad? No va a escribir, eh, ¿qué onda? ¿Va a querer el producto? No. Okay. Uh, buen día. Are you interested in the, in the product? Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Por eso Marlon está esperando el catálogo. Marlon is waiting for all the information. Uh, okay. It can be with email or WhatsApp. Right, Marlon? Of course, teacher. Okay, te están dejando ir a un cliente, a potential. Sí, Estamos no, practicando no. cómo enviar un correo así de esa misma manera. <risa> no, pero en, en mi caso no necesita ser formal. Ajá. Le voy a poner, ¿qué onda? Va a querer, ¿Cuál va a querer? Lo voy a poner. No, el monito, sí. Ajá, ajá, el monito, el monito es la clave. Lo va a llevar, ¿no? Yes, sí. Ok, so that's it, because you are offering a product. Ok, good. Edgar. Ah, no, Edgar, ya, ya pasaste, ¿verdad, Edgar? Oh, me dijo que a mí pasara. Okay. No, yes. <laughs> yes, ok, go ahead. Hola, la Claudia del BBM. Eh, BBM. Ella creo que ya sabe. Ah, no, Carmen. Era. No, Carmen, BBM. Yo nunca tuve Blackberry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was Aquí for... El pin. Yes, ajá, no, no sé de eso. Uh, I didn't experience that. Ahí habló Carmencita, que pues sí, va a Carmen. Teacher no tuvo Blackberry. Mm -mm. No, honestly. No, el mío era... Vaya, eso sí tuvo. Ah. No, Crean lo que sí. Oye, cuando, cuando, cuando la gente tenía un Blackberry, teacher, yo tenía uno de los azulitos. Bemol, yo también, porque... era pantalla azul. <ríe> y yo emocionado porque no era pantalla verde mi amarilla era azul pero estaba feliz ¿eh? yes well that, that happens okay eh, so thanks eh, Edgar qué pasó y al final solo sí, viniste, viniste a trolear y no dijiste nada okay tal vez el tercero sería el do not use smiley yes do not mm -hmm. use smiles. Aunque a Marlon mm -hmm. si le pueden enviar eso, but in the case of uh, clients or suppliers, que, que, que son los proveedores, okay, uh, mm -hmm. it is not recommendable. It is not a good idea, okay. But even uh, you can use capitals, pueden utilizar letras mayúsculas for important. Yes, when you want to reinforce an idea, cuando quieren reforzar una idea, reforzar se dice así. Reinforce. Reinforce. Uh, or, eh, aquí tenemos capitals, ¿verdad? Capital significa letras mayúsculas y letras minúsculas se dicen así, ¿verdad? Low case. Okay. Okay. So, aunque pueden decir eh, 
LCL, ok? Lowcase letters, esas es minúsculas, en capital letters o capitals, o pueden decir lowcase, solo así ve. Lowcase. Lowcase es minúsculas, capital es mayúsculas. Yes? Si ponen solo mayúsculas, lo toman como que uno está gritando. Yes, uh, it's like. Uh -huh. It's a way of saying. Uh -huh. O con signos de admiración, uh, or something that even uh, you can feel it. The vibes, se, se siente como en las vibras, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, that, that happens. Okay, so yes, I, I didn't think about it, but it is true, Carmen. I think we have experienced that. Uh -huh. Okay, so thanks. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Por qué para, yo he visto en unos correos formales, por ejemplo, eh, los que envía, los que envía Aeromac, que es una empresa grande, ocupan abreviaturas como F, Y, I, for you information. Uh -huh. Y hay, hay, son, son válidas así para un correo oficial. Uh, honestly, no. It, it is not. I have uh, received a lot of uh, mails, uh, even when I, well, depends on the enterprise, okay? But uh, I'm going, we're going to see some examples. Vamos a ver unos ejemplos that there are, I guess, there are very short mails. Son correos cortos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Porque ah, a veces really. solo lo envían F y ahí, y yo. Yes, ¿eh? y yes. Y busqué yes. que quieran. Mm -hmm. Ajá, y verdad que se siente un poquito como que mm -hmm. la informalidad, well, it's up to them. Depende de ellos, but it is not a sí. good recommendation doing that. Okay. Nosotros lo ocupamos, teacher, pero entre la misma área. Yes, but, si, but, si me ha llegado a mí un correo y no, se lo he, no le ha llegado a otro, o sea, solo se lo copio y solo, pero nuestro PSI. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ok, but that's internal. Ajá, es interno. You don't, but in the case of Elsa, it is different because it, it is an external agent. Es un agente externo, sí, right, Elsa? Son dos, sí, son, va la, la universidad con Aeroman, ¿verdad? Entonces, son, empresas, son instituciones formales, no es un correo interno, así entre compañeros. Mm -hmm. Pero ellos así lo manejan, no sé, me pareció bien. Ah, y, y es, esa es la palabra. Mm -hmm. Es impersonal. So that happens, mm -hmm. but it, there are some, it depends on the politics of every company. Imagine Google, they don't wear uniform. En Google no utilizan uniforme, sí. they, they go like wearing pajamas and moldas, very relaxed. Mm -hmm. But it's up, it's up uh, to the politics of every company. But thank you, thank you for saying that uh, example, Elsa. Okay, we continue this. Ni siquiera le voy a dar segundos para ver eso porque es demasiado corto, okay? Maritza, you're going to be Amanda. Amanda Miguel. And Luis is going to be... No, no está Luis. We need the voice of Edgar. Alan Paul. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you often, often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate, appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Sure. Thank you. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. Appropriate. 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 Very good pronunciation, Maritza and Edgar. Perfect. Solo que esta palabra sí cuesta. Me gusta como dijiste, abbreviations y often sin la T. Nice. Business, business. In Spanish, we say biznero. No sé si han escuchado. Ah, mi, mi hermano es biznero. But biznero comes from business. A person who likes to, uh, to, to make deals, hacer tratos, all those things. Okay. And that's not for everybody. No es por, por, para todos eso tampoco. Okay. And business emails. Okay. No, it is not professional. Okay. I guess uh, this is uh, like very relaxed. Okay, so we're going to practice it like two minutes, the maximum two minutes, please. Uh, I need you to have a screenshot. Demasiado corta, es la conversación más corta que vamos a tener en toda nuestra vida.
Okay, I'm going to make random pairs. Vamos a hacer parejas random. Let me see, let me see. Okay, let's do it. ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Con quién me mandó? Conmigo. El tacarito malía. ¿Por qué? Me imagino que si fuéramos compañeros de trabajo me, me agarraron de pollito ustedes. ¿Crees? Estoy muy, muy, muy tranquilito. Pues. Mm, sí. yes. Decía mi abuelita, de las aguas mansas líbrame Dios. Que de las turbias me libro yo de sí. Ah, pues soy agua mansa. Agua mansa. Thank you. Ok, vamos, Amanda. Ok. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in the business email. Uh, not, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more details? to write effective emails? Uh, yeah, sure. Solo que déjame ver algo. Bien. Pre pronuncia, sí. Estos dos, carito. Abbreviation? No. Abbreviations. Con S, la S me con. Sí, este es nombre. Sí, <laughs> abbreviations, así. Eso, that's it. Y la otra. Emails. Eh, elegancia, la de Francia. Emails. Hello, ¿cómo usted tengo hambre? Y así pronuncia bien apro apropiado. Appropriate, appropriate. En pro está la fuerza de voz. Appropriate. Appropriate. Es appropriate. Eight, Como que si fuera ocho, eight, appropriate. Eight. Appropriate, ok. ¿Una más? Ok, uh, yes. Ok. Otra vez, Amanda. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use, use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Could. Could be. Could. No, could. Could. Pues sí, carito. Ah, por rato. <laughs> ya me imagino estando en, en, en usted un ambiente así de. de cherada. Cuando poner... nos reuníamos, cuando nos reuníamos, las ciento y pico que somos, sí. Mm -hmm. Hoy ya no, nos reunimos poquitas. Bueno. 
Vaya, pues te veo allá después, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, I'm going to, to make a reinforce. Quiero hacer un refuerzo con esto. Appropriate. Appropriate. Hay varios. Uh, there are a lot of verbs. Algunos verbos, por ejemplo. Tolerate. Termina como que si dijésemos ocho en inglés. Eight. Eight. Tolerate. Um, quiero ver qué otro se me viene en la mente. Certificate. Uh, entonces todos los, todos los verbos o palabras que terminan en AT se pronuncian eight. Appropriate, tolerate, certificate. ¿Verdad? Es como eso de abbreviation, television, communications. Entonces es ese patrón que debemos de, de, de captar. ¿Ok? Appropriate. En pro está la fuerza de eso. ¿Ok? So just uh, like a tip. Ok. We continue. Una consulta. Eh, appropriate se pronuncia con pri o pi. Appropriate. Pri. Appro pri. pri, pri ah, como que si fuera el partido okay. de México. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Listening. We are listening. Esto es eh, parte. No suena como tal. Pero es parte como de una eh, answer machine, que es una, es una contestadora, ¿ok? Es como que there was a call, había una llamada y, y sale la contestadora, ¿ok? Entonces va, hay que dejar un mensaje. Ese es el mensaje que se deja, eh, es el que van a escuchar en este momento. Ok, vamos a escuchar. Eh, les digo que es contestadora, un mensaje que se va a dejar una contestadora para que captemos el, el contexto. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Let's listen again. Como que está bien emocionada esta muchacha. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Okay, we have this. Mm. Manuel, and then Edgar. Manuel, no te escuchamos. Como que está okay. rezando, te ves, ok. <risa> no, es que hay un rezo a la par y pues los tamales. Ah, ya. Ah, sí, te, <risa> te conectaste. Ok, nice. <risa> no, eh. Ah, dijo Words that you heard Palabras que escuchaste 
Eh, otra vez está rezando, Manuel. I know that you are a very religious person, but... How was going? Um, okay. How was going? Uh, mm -hmm. Ya no recuerdo. Dijo varias, ya se me fue la onda. De, de ahí eh, dijo, talk soon. Oh, talk soon. Okay, nice. Andrea de Marlon. Um, how is the going? I guess mes, mes, message. Birthday, organized little party for my, my birthday, swimming pool, pool, and later. Okay, anyway. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Marlon and Carmen. Por dos, le iba a decir. Todo eso por dos. <laughs> no, eh, eh, nada más eh, una parte en la que dice nice. He's living in a nice big house with a swimming pool. Okay, no perfect. Puede, Good, detail. Mucho más. Good detail. Good uh, Carmen and Elsa. Hi, it's me. Organize, organizing party of my birthday. Uh, my uh, swim pool, my cousin, creo que dijo. Anyway, I'm not to see you. Talk soon. Oh, Carmen, stop. Elsa, please. For uh, the place for reservation for the you birthday, um, they um say the beautiful, the beautiful beast. He um to um, gente cercana para la gente cercana. Mm -hmm. Y que no trabajara mucho. Okay. Yes. Captaste la idea, verdad? Se te fue la palabra, pero captaste la idea. Okay. Sí. Good. Carito. Una palabra más antes de partir. Oh, Friday, house. Mm -hmm. De todas las que repitieron. De todas. Ok. Perfect. Uh, let, we're going to check this. Um, I guess now you understand more. Creo que entienden más. And I like that. Me parece. And I really like that you try not to repeat words. For example, one of your classmates uh, say some words and you already have it, you prefer to say some others. And that's, uh, I really like that. Me gusta eso, que traten de no repetir palabras. Okay. That's a good jest. Buen gesto. Y avanzamos. Okay. And here we have this. Y como dicen, it's me. Como muchos de ustedes dicen, it's me, it's me, cuando estoy pasando lista. So that's it. Okay. How is it going? ¿Verdad? Una de, de las formas como yo también um, pregunto cómo están, cómo les va. We're going to listen again. Um, if you pay attention, this girl speaks kind of fast, eh, un poco rápido, ¿ok? So, but that's the point. Ese es el punto. Ok, que hable un poquito rápido y que ustedes identifiquen. Let's listen. Hi, it's me. How is it going? I guess you're at work and you don't have your phone on, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you for the birthday card and message. I received it this morning. That's so nice of you. I'm organizing a little party for my birthday. It's nothing very big. Only a few of my best and closest friends. That means you too. We're going to have it at my cousin's house. She lives in the countryside in a nice big house with a swimming pool. I'd love to see you there. It's going to be this Friday. I'll send you the instructions on how to get there later, okay? Anyway, have fun at work. Don't work too hard, okay? Talk soon. Talk soon. So that's it. Mm. Yes, um, ¿dónde está closest? Vamos a preguntarle a Dianita. ¿Alguna idea que es closest, Dianita? Mm, ¿A dónde? Closest. Mm. Bien, close significa cerrar. cerrar. Ah. Pero, ajá, pero es un adjetivo. Como un círculo cerca. Eh, exacto, exacto. Eh, close significa cerca. Y como es un adjetivo superlativo, sería a mis amigos. Más cercanos. Yes, perfect. Yes, más cercanos. Okay, so that's part of the uh, superlative uh, adjectives. ¿Verdad? Cosa que también ya hemos estudiado un poquito. Okay, and should suicidal patients have the right to die? Why? And we're going to listen. 
What about if we listen to Elsa? Okay, Elsa, your turn. And then we're having Maritza. Okay, teacher. I personally, I think yes, because it's your uh, our decision and they have a, the right to do so. Okay, your own decision. Okay, you decide. Um, yeah. Okay, that's your point. Okay, thank you for sharing. Uh, Elsa, okay. good one. Maritza, please. Uh, okay, I think no. Uh, I believe that nobody has the right to attempt against the live of others or on himself. Uh, everything has a purpose in everyone's life. Okay, nobody has the right to attempt, right? Against uh, someone's life, okay? Thank you for sharing uh, your opinion as well, Maritza. A very good vocabulary, muy buen vocabulary. And now we're going to listen to Susie. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Uh, sinceramente, teacher, yo no le encontraba sentido a esta pregunta. A la pero... vida. <laughs> la verdad. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, yes, uh, I agree with Marlon and Manuel. Eh, yo pienso que, miren, quizás no hice la, 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 la respuesta en inglés, pero se lo voy a decir. Esa quizás me gustó, esa quizás me gustó. No, en serio, es que no la he encontrado yo decía ahí porque nos pregunta eso, pero bueno. Este, quizás algunas personas buscan esto porque ya intentaron de todo y no encuentran solución. Entonces, ¿qué? yo pienso que sí tienen derecho, ¿por qué no? Si no son felices con su vida, pues tal vez en otra vida sí, ¿verdad? Esa es en mi opinión. Ok, good, good. Me gustó cómo mezclas el español y el inglés, porque si no encuentran solución. De... Ok. Es que, es que ella es fan de aventura y todo eso. Te... Ah, really, eso sí. You like that music. ¿Te gusta no, esa música? No, no me gusta la bachata, no. Imagino bailando toda quebradita ahí. Con... Okay. ¿Sabe de qué? Con mi, con mi compañero eh, en el trabajo, así ando casi que todo el día, fregándolo. ¿Bailando? Y me dice, me no, fregándolo, en el sentido de que español e inglés. O sea, no sé, la locura mía, maybe. Pelazón, pelazón de Susi. Yeah, that's good, that's the attitude. Y cuando uno bromea diciendo esas palabras y todo eso, se le quedan, sin querer se le quedan y todo eso. Te puedes andar troleando. Ok. Thank you, Susi. Very good. Eso sí no es sencilla. Eh, Mercy, what about you? Okay. I think no, because they are psychologically, 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 psychologically. Sí, me cuesta eso. <laughs> psychologically, <laughs> son seis okay. sílabas. <clears throat> And emotionally. Emo emotionally for some side situation in their life and they don't have the cap capacity to assimilate it. Thank you, Mercy. Thank you. Yes, Cuidado. I guess. <laughs> si estaba fuerte, este yes, I guess uh, some people can't um dimension the problem of some situations so they try to escape intentan escapar porque no no se ubican or they don't find a solution as you say mercy yeah that, that, that's a, another point yes but at the end mercy do you agree they have the right or no you say i think not you think not okay but thanks for your opinion thanks okay um 27, no, 37 minutes. Y terminamos. Lunes, tan difíciles que son los lunes. Ok, sí, dice Carmencito. Yes, Manuel, I know. Ah, pero si fuera viernes, mm, ok. Si fuera sábado, ok. So, here we have this. Uh, these are steps to write a formal email. Son unos pasos para escribir un eh, correo formal. Uh, read the tips to write a formal email and classify, si se dan cuenta todo lo que termina en, en la Y, se, se pronuncia I, por ejemplo, cry, try, classify, testify, un montón. 
son los patrones que les digo de pronunciación. And as formal or informal. Ok, vamos a ver ahorita cuáles eh, tips de esos son para formal or informal. Esa es la, la, la clave del éxito, para que ustedes sean felices en esta vida. Ok, so what is it? Formal or informal. I need you to read, necesito que lean y ustedes me dicen si es formal o informal. Ok, so we're going to start with Marlon and then Maritza. Ok. <clears throat> in, in number, uh, number two, mm -hmm. include a polite salutation. Ex example given. Exem example PG. given. Dear Mr. or dear Mrs., good morning, etc. Yeah. Uh, that's formal. That's formal. Okay, good. Aquí vamos a poner formal. Aquí vamos a poner informal. Okay. No es que sea malo, simplemente es un, yeah, un signo. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Maritza and then Carmen. Okay. Um, right to main point in the Open sentence is formal. Yes, write the main point in the opening sentence. Escribe eh, como el punto in, eh, principal en la oración de inicio. Podría ser yes. Remember, it has to be short. Okay, eh, Carmen and then Andrea. Number four, don't use all capital or a lower. Case letter. A formal too. Yes, formal, okay. Don't use capital. Si no, dice Carmencita que le gritan. That's true. Yo tuve una jefa. Mm. Una jefa, cosa seria. Yes, a long time ago, hace mucho tiempo. Okay, yes, and you feel like the pressure and all those things, okay. I guess it is not professional to do that. Okay, uh, Andrea, right? And after Andrea, we're having Diana. Number 10, edit and, edit and proofread before you send the message is formal. That's formal. Okay, okay. that's it. Uh, proof read is como darle una vista previa, leerlo anticipado antes de mandarlo. Sometimes uh, we have some mistakes or errors in typing. Tenemos errores, ¿verdad? A veces... Eh, por error escribimos te extraño, vuelve conmigo and that, that happens, ¿verdad? se nos van los, los deditos ahí, ¿verdad Dianita? yes, that happens, ¿verdad man? ¿verdad Susi? ¿verdad? Ah, ah, ok, ok, ok yes, that happens so, who's next? who's next? Diana, right? ok, be number seven, be brief if your message is too long, consider Using an attachment mm -hmm. is formal. Yes. Attachment is como un adjunto. Yes, remember, we don't have to, to write a lot of things, right? Um, here we have Wells. We're going to have Edgar. And then Mercy. Okay, number... Um... Number five. Number five. Yes. Avoid abbreviations. Eh, 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 Example. Mm -hmm. Or eh, please. Mm -hmm. Please. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. And we have a lot of abbreviations in Spanish. In español tenemos muchas abbreviaciones, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I, we have, bueno, por la X. ¿Por qué? Que es XQ. Por you, el 4. Por you, cuatro. también en inglés. Por you. You. Mm. you. I'm crazy for you, yes. Mm. A lot of things. Okay, good, Edgar. Uh, we have, well, uh, Mercy, right? And then we're having um, Elsa. Number eight. Eight. Use a closing phrase like best. Phrase. 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 Like phrase. best regards, regards looking forward to your comments. Comments. Yes. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Formal. Yes, formal. Thank you. Mercy, after Mercy, we have Elsa and then Carito. Number nine. Nine. <clears throat> have a signature block with appropriate, appropriate. Appropriate, appropriate. Yes, contact information, your name, business address, and phone numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, formal. That's formal. Okay, and also here we have Carito, number six. Okay, be polite, remember to write, please, and thank you. Mm -hmm. Formal. Yes, todas son formal. No quiero tardándome aquí con estos colores. Yes, that's it, formal. Okay, and here we have two examples. We have this, and we have to check if they are formal or informal, okay? So for this sentence, we're going to have, Andrea, read one. Remember or Robert? Remember we have to prepare everything for event for the event. Perfect. Please don't forget the things. Hmm? See you. Is formal informal? or informal? Yes, informal. that that's informal. Uh -huh. The Peter at mail.com. Mm -hmm. Imagínense eh, cuál es el subject. Saturday. Imagine <laughs> sábado, sábado, chiquito. Okay, Diana, please next. Robert. Remember, Robert. Remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the document. Mm -hmm. It's formal. Yes, that's formal. Okay. So tomorrow's meeting, mm -hmm. que es la eh, la reunión de mañana. Okay, Robert. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Eh, e incluso, well, a veces hasta con el correo, verdad? Hay correos. Um, los institucionales, hasta ahí se nota uno, ahí se, se, se nota, ¿verdad? Hasta el correo que le envían, si no le ponen gatita um, especial o algo así, yes, right? Uh, if you use your name, se utiliza su nombre, entonces uh, that's more formal, right, Marlon? Yes, says, Marlon says, yes. yes. Okay, good. We're going to write a professional email to a co-worker. Vamos a escribir un mail, pero así va a ser, ¿ve? Así, ¿ve? Like two lines and a half, o dos líneas pueden ser, okay? And to a, write a professional email to a co-worker, confirm that you need to meet with uh, him or her tomorrow. Podemos eh, aplicarlo de esta manera. Vamos a hacer un, form, un, 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 ¿qué? un correo formal. Por ejemplo, pueden ponerle eh, Carolina, ¿ok? Porque si le ponen carito ya es muy, muy, muy informal. Carolina, remember that, recuerda, uh -huh. o podemos utilizar esto. Just to remind es recordar, ¿verdad? Como recordarte, just to remind you that... Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Eh, o pueden ser, eh, don't forget, eh, ya vieron que aquí le hace falta la T. Do not forget tomorrow or next, eh, podemos utilizar tomorrow, eh, next Friday, ya. Yeah. Y pueden eh, escribir eh, meeting, que tienen una, una reunión que tienen un seminar, que tienen una presentation, puede ser presentación de un proyecto, de un producto, ok, en, eh, van a poder presentar un inventario, inventory, presentation, o si van a tener un, if you're going to have like a, a special, eh, launch, uh -huh, launch que es el lanzamiento de, de algún producto de algún programa de algún proyecto teacher y uh -huh. ahí cuando dice IT a qué se refiere 
¿Es algún departamento? Hay, sí, es el departamento... El, sí, me parece que es el, el departamento el técnico, me parece que era. El, el tech, me parece. Si no me equivoco. La vez pasada, eso salió en una conversación. Ya les digo. Puede ser cualquier departamento, sales, o puede ser con el jefe. Sí, Information Technology uh -huh. es un departamento. Ok. Entonces le escriben Subject, eso es lo más importante. Eso, el, esto es Subject y en sí el mensaje. Ok. El correo no, no es necesario, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a tardar un poquito más. Solo le escriben Subject, Subject. Y escriben el, eh, de qué se trata el correo. Me leen el correo que lo van a hacer quizás en 10 segundos. That's quick. Ok, I guess some of you, some of you are ready. So we're going to start, maybe Edgar, are you ready? No, teacher. No yet. Ok, what about Manuel? I can hear you, Manuel. En eso estoy ahorita, solo dándole el último toque. Ah. Sí, teacher. No, eso okay. lo estoy escribiendo. Ok, inventando. una pintura. Ok, good, Manuel. <laughs> Thanks, thanks. Yes. Teacher, uh, ready, Elsa. Yes. Subject Perfect. contract. Contract with Dave I have, uh, uh, to my my boss. Mm -hmm. uh, next, it's uh, next week contract signing with Ironman Company. Okay. Perfect. Ironman, verdad? Porque Ironman de Tony Stark. Stark no. <laughs> Iron, Iron Man. Man. Ah, Iron Man. Iron Man. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. That's a very brief and concrete uh, e formal email. Thank you, Elsa. Very good. Uh, and what about um, Carmen? Ready? I'm ready. Nací lista. I was born ready. <laughs> to Carlos Mejia arroba mail.com Subject Agreement Revision. Eh, y el cuerpo eh, del correo. Yes, the, the message. Derlick Mejia. I submit the proposed agreement for final review. Remember that we will discuss it in tomorrow's meeting. Perfect. I like the word submit. Submit que se escribe submit, submit, es ah, similar sí. to send. Perfect. But it is more formal. Pero es más formal. Yes, of course. Submit, yes. Es un sinónimo eh, de send. Pero es más formal. Yes. Thank you, Carmen. Perfect. Well said. Eh, Maritza, ready? 
Yes. Go ahead, please. Then Marlon. Magda.ronquio.gmail.com Subject, orders of Inter-American School. Uh, Magdalena, don't forget to prepare to prepare the orders of Inter-American School. We should deliver it the Wednesday. Thank you. Perfect. Well said. Delivery. We have to deliver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deliver. Es entregar. Delivery ya es, ya es un envío. Ok. Eh, solo un detalle. Arroba se dice at, ¿verdad? At gmail. Uh -huh, at. Arroba. Y pu, arroba se dice at. At. Uh -huh, at. Y punto se dice dot. At oh. gmail.com. That. Uh -huh. At gmail. Dot, at gmail.com. Por ejemplo, at outlook.com. Out, eh, at hotmail.com ese siempre va a llevar dot com, y, dot com. Y, del, y deliver se escribe solo deliver sí deliver es que se dice delivery ya son los repartidores ya es, un, uh -huh. ya es una entrega uh -huh. pero deliver es sin la y y es deliver entregar verbo ok good thank you Maritza Marlon ready I guess ready and then uh, Janita ok and the subject Hundred hundred quotation. Mm -hmm. And the message is Dear Mr. Christian, please remember to send me the hundred quotation for the Colon Escalon project. Don't forget uh, the customer is calling me daily. 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 Uh, daily. Um, I, best regards. Okay. Best regards. Yes, that's a very Hello. formal to say. Eh, saludos cordiales, uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿verdad? Los, los mejores deseos. En Dana Formal. Uh -huh. No le vamos a poner love you, I miss you. No, but best regards. <laughs> yes, that's it. Ok. A menos que sea un cliente muy especial. Ok, good, Marlon. Perfect. Oh, yes, that can happen. <laughs> that can happen in a part of the world. Thank you, Diana. And then we're having Mercy, if it is ready. Okay, subject next Monday meeting. Mm -hmm. Dear Miss Palacios, Susie, remember that next Monday we are having a meeting with our boss. Sincerely, Diana Vidara. Okay, good. And is that your boss? Es tu jefe. Okay, Mr. Palacios. No, Miss Palacios. Ah, Miss, 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 Miss Palacios. Okay. La compañera. Oh, okay, that's nice que van a tener un, una reunión tranquila. Ok, perfecto. ¿Te imaginas qué clase de reunión? Yes, I, I have a lot of imagination. Tengo mucha imaginación. Con nuestro jefe. Yes, yes, uh, related to work, relacionado al trabajo. ¿Verdad, Anita? <laughs> perfecto. Merci. And then, Manuel. Ok. Hey. Roberts at mail.com. That com. Yes. Okay. Subject cell strategies. El mensaje sería present the cells strategies for the following week. Okay. Strategies. 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 Yes. Thank you, Mercy. Well done. Okay, Manuel, and then we're having Carito. Okay, subjects, uh, sheet work, and message, message, the, the message is, uh, Manuel, remember tomorrow send to send the sheet work to workshop, please. I, I, owe, you, I owe you one. Okay, thanks. And then here we have Carito and then Edgar. Okay, suggest so presentation of inventory. Alexander, remember that the sales department has the presentation of the Christmas inventory. Don't forget, it's Tuesday, 5 October. October. October first. Okay, perfect, Carito. Good. 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 Una consulta. Yes. Es correcto hacer eso. De... Como, así como las maneras que nos enseñó a decir gracias, ponerlo en un... O sea, es formal eso. ¿Cómo gracias? Uh, I don't eh, get the idea. La, la, usted nos dio una diapositiva de las maneras 
de decir diferentes maneras de decir gracias. Vaya, ¿no? esa que dijiste I owe you one, podrías decirla internamente. Ajá, correcto. Con tus compañeros de trabajo, puede ser, pero ya con clientes o with another enterprise or company, I don't recommend you. No le recomiendo, ¿verdad? Normalmente le doy eh, palabras formales, pero también le doy palabra o lenguaje informal que se utiliza en el inglés diario, si se dan cuenta, porque ese programa es un inglés para el trabajo, pero así como ustedes hablan en el trabajo, no hablan el español, el castellano diariamente, ¿verdad que no, verdad? Ah, ¿verdad, Manuel? No, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces, por eso trato de implementar otro tipo también para que su vocabulario se expanda. Pero lo, lo, lo recomendable para esto es, aunque se escuche cuadrado o encajonado, como es formal, best regards, thanks, eh, thank you. Okay. Muy sencillo. Pero si ya le escribís a tus compas y todo eso, pues ya, it's different. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Good. Pues next, Edgar, right? Yes. Ok, please. Ok. Uh, subject is ordering in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, Dear customers, uh, thank you for ordering at our online store. Please print out the postal label for receiving the parcel. No. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Edgar. Very well said. Uh, Andrea, please. Okay. So, subject, remind meeting. Rosie, just to remind the meeting for next Monday. Please don't forget its expiration date. That's important. Okay, well said. En corto, ¿verdad? Sencillamente, ¿verdad? And, and Susie, Q. Okay. To Guevara at gmail.com. To Jeff, uh, wine's capacitation. Diana, good afternoon. Just remind you about the wine's capacitation of tomorrow. I hope to see you. Take care. Bye. Mm, okay. That's it. Capacitación. I don't know what about, but... Es en serio, Susi. No va. Era un ejemplo. Maybe. Ah. <laughs> ¿Y qué es? No me acordaba. ¿Y qué y que, y que Susi es la jefa? No. No es la jefa, Susi. Algún día, tal vez, eso quisiera. Es que si se escucha, yo como que eso sí, está mandoncita. La jefa de del desmadre, tal vez. <ríe> ok, that's a lot of information. No sé por qué no puedo procesar esa idea, no lo creo. <ríe> ok, uh, we're, going to, we're about to finish 13 minutes, 13 minutos, mi gente. Y lunes tan complicado, it's about to finish. <ríe> Tranquila, Carmen, tranquila. <risa> ya no, ya no. ¿Sabes qué? Ese suspiro salió del corazón. Ese oh, fue... teacher. Sorry, teacher. Y llorando, sorry. Teacher, no. Distraigando un ratito. Usted nos dijo que nos iba a contar algo. Cuénteme. Chavos, teacher. Ah, no. Uh, it was like a... Uh... Uh, related to Carmen says one once said one that um, the harassment uh, uh, related to, to the colleagues and partners verdad es como un, un tipo de invasión a la privacidad o acoso y es que si I had a, a boss I, uh, she was a, a well definitely was a woman <laughs> and she was my boss Like six years ago, I worked for an NGO. Trabajé para una ONG. And I was coordinating um, a program, an English program. Estaba trabajando en un programa de inglés. So I was the coordinator of that program. Very interesting and stressful. Era muy estresante. But uh, my boss uh, used to text me at night asking me about reports, me, 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 me empezaba a, a solicitar reportes para el siguiente día, it was really stressful because imagine I used to arrive at home at 9 p.m., 9.30, a las 9.30 llegaba a casa, and she was texting me, and uh, after asking me about my, the document, 
Eh, she used to change a little bit the, the conversation. Ya cambiaba un poquito la conversación y me enviaba emojis y todas esas cosas. So, uh, the point of this was that she turned that, that kind of conversation. Como que ya le cambiaba y yo cansado y enviándome emojis y cositas así. Era sí, como... che, le estaba Ser, era plan la con maña. Torre. Era plan con maña para que le contestara y después comenzara con lo que realmente quería. Uh, I guess that was the objective, <laughs> pero como soy una persona bien eh, despistada. You were a victim. Oh. Yeah, I was a victim. Yes, uh, no, no, Manuel, no sé, Manuel. Yes, but the point of this was that she turned at the conversation, cambiaba la conversación y pasaba después de ser, mire, licenciado, mire, tal cosa, lo solicito. Y de ahí cambiaba el tono, como dice Carmen, en el texto a veces se nota, ¿verdad? Que cambia más suave, más, más, se escuchaba más, hasta yo sentía la voz más suavecita. Lo <laughs> so, necesito, les. Sorry, ¿qué pasó, Dianita? Decime, Diana, ok. So, ajá, decime, porque ya nos quedan 10 minutos. Ok, primero le decía lo solicito y ya después le decía lo necesito. Y, y yes, <risa> I guess it was uh, anesthesia, era como anestesia que me estaba aplicando ahí. Yes, ok, but that was just an anecdote, una anécdota nada más, ok. Pero como pues sí. Ya pasó. Ok, so we're going to continue by dear friends. And we have nine minutes. Tenemos nueve minutos. And we have a reading. Y con esto vamos a terminar. Tenemos un reading ya que les comenté de cuando fui víctima. I was a victim of this, de este mundo. Eh, este mundo. Ok, so um, this is just a... Uh, Uh, reading, I'm going to give you one minute to read. Un minuto para que lo lean detenidamente y después lo, lo analizamos. This is the end of, of everything, okay? Es el final de todo. Okay, I need you to read sentences from one point to another. Maritza, you start, please, and then Manuel. Okay, on Sunday. De un punto a otro punto, Maritza, you start. Okay, on Sunday, do Tom gets, gets up at 10 o'clock? Thank you, that's it. Manuel and then Carito. Then he reads his newspaper in the kitchen. Thank you, News, Carito. News. Okay, yes, this is the end, the kitchen. Uh, Carito and then Carmen. He has breakfast at 11.30 and then he telephoned his mother in Scotland. Scotland, yes, that's it. Okay, we continue with Carmen, right? And then Edgar. In the afternoon at one o'clock, Tom plays tennis with his sister. And after that, they eat dinner in a restaurant. Dinner in the restaurant. Definitely Dinner. it is. Yes. Okay. Edgar and Elsa. At six. Okay. Uh, at six. Uh, Tom swims for one hour and then he goes by bike uh, to his house. Thank you. Elsa, they talk. They talk and listen to music. Thank you. And Carito. Tom, Tom watches. 
Tom watches television in the evening and drink a glass of warm milk. Thank you, Susie. He goes. He goes to bed at 11.30. Okay, let's do this. Easy peasy. We have 10 sentences. Tenemos 10 oraciones. Okay, number one, Andrea. Or uh, pick one. Selecciona one. Number one. Tom mm -hmm. gets up at 10 a.m. on Sundays. It's true. False. true. Mm -hmm. Yes, Andreita, yes, that's it. Okay, uh, we go with Diana and then Marlo. Number two, Tom reads the newspaper in the lounge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tom reads the newspaper in the lounge. Mm -hmm. No. No, in, in the? the yeah, in the that's it. Perfect, Marlon, and then we're going with Mercy. Number three, his father lives in Scotland. Hmm? Um, I think it's false. Yes, it's false because who lives in Scotland? His mother lives yes, in Scotland. Yes, his mother, mm -hmm, that's it. So it's false, perfect, Marlon. Okay, who's next? Um, Mercy, did, did I say mercy? Dije mercy? No. Okay, so after we're going with um, Carmen. Tom drives to his brother's house, number seven. Okay, number it's seven. False. Okay, it's false. Que seguridad. Yes, because he goes by bike perfect okay uh, carito and then uh, elsa number four tom play tennis with his sister true perfect okay uh, edgar i uh, know elsa can you elsa or edgar oh. number five number five Tom and his sister eat before playing tennis. Mm -hmm. What do you think? False. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's false, false because they eat, uh, yes, mm -hmm. after, come and después, right? Okay, good. Yes. Uh, Edgar and Mercy. Uh, um... Eight. Okay. Tom and his brother listen to music. True or false? Uh, it's true. Yes, perfect. Okay, who's next? Is it Mercy? O oh, a Manuela, ¿quién le dije? Voy a estar poniendo esas flechitas. Okay, Mercy, you can do it, please. Six, nine, or ten, y terminamos. Nine? Nine, uh -huh. Tom drinks a glass of wine. Uh, a glass the, of wine. Mm -hmm. Wine in the evening. In the evening, uh huh. Is that true or false? Mm, false. Yes, false because he drinks a glass of milk. Okay. And we're going to finish with Susie. Six or ten? Ten. ten. Tom goes to bed at uh, 11 30 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's true. Teacher. Uh, yes. In the in the number nine, uh, should Susie insert Tom? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like wine, right, Susie? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. The good one. Which one do you prefer the most? Sorry? What is the most you like? Well, I like the rosado. Definitely rosado. Definitely rosado. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, ya vamos a ver si te portas bien. Entre todos te van a dar regalos. Le voy a mandar lo que quiero. <laughs>
Uh, okay, good. And we're going to finish with Manuel, number six. Tom goes. Can go swimming at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's false. Uh huh. It's false. Okay, it's false. Okay, my friends, we finish. Que el lunes es más complicadito, yo lo sé. You're very bright. Son valientes siempre los he admirado y los voy a seguir admirando. So, where it's time to, to say goodbye. Es hora de decir adiós. Y a contestar los mensajes de mi ex jefa. Okay, uh, let's say, and, no, quieren, broma, bromas. Okay, uh, Ana Mercedes. Present. Oh, that's it. Mm. Se me quedaron algunos de la suicidal. Se me quedó Carillito, Diana. Okay. Ya ves, por hablar de, de esa persona. Ok, uh, tomorrow, mañana, mañana me van a pasar, ok. So, Andrea, hello. Hi. <laughs> ok. Uh, Carmen. Present. Good. Um... Carito. Present. Perfect. Maritza. Present. Thank you. Diana. It's me. It's you. Almost sleeping. Edgar. I'm here. Good. Elsa. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Um, Luis is not here. Manuel. Present. Thank you. Marlon. Present. Good. And Susie. Rest the chair. Okay, my dear friends. Goodbye. Have a good sleep. Vayan a dormir que se lo merecen. Thank good you, night. teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Night, night. Okay, we're going to um, wait a little bit for the person to connect so we can have uh, a reinforcement about the contents we have studied uh, during this class or before this one.
Okay, we're having uh, the brief review. We have this activity that is called check language tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Compare your answers with a partner. We have do not use all capitals. Um, avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Do not use abbreviations. Do not use smileys. All of these are functional tips for writing formal emails. It is really common to apply uh, these uh, suggestions when sending or receiving emails that are related to work. Definitely they are related to work. Not for fun, not for friendship, but for work. We have pair work. And this is a short conversation related to emails as well. Okay, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. So this is a brief conversation between Amanda and Luis uh, in which the main point or the main objective it's a uh, talk if it is appropriate or not to use uh, specific things uh, in emails. After this, we have steps to write a formal email. Okay, uh, read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal, okay. For the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. Number one, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Two, include a polite salutation, example giving, dear Mr. dear Miss, good morning, and others. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capital or lowercase letters. Avoid abbreviations. Example given, PLZ, that means please. Six, be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Be brief. If your message is so long, consider using an attachment. Use a closing phrase like best regards, uh, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the message.
here also we have two examples of emails. Here we have number one, subject uh, Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget things. See you. And this is an informal email and we have on the contrary. Remember, uh, well, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. This is clearly a formal mail. So this was uh, all for uh, this class. See you next time.